What's going on guys, Blover Bros here and welcome back to the Call of Duty Cup Series Season 5 race number 23, Chase Race 8 of 10, including this race, there are 3 races left, only 2 races after today. Um, I want to apologize for the slight gaff in uploads, I knew I said I wanted to um, make them more frequently and then I go like 4 days at uploading, but... Nonetheless, here we go for the Call of Duty Cup Series from Fontana. On pole, you got Hunter Spartan and the front row are both chasers, Adam Akers. And then you got Kevin Volano and Nick Ventura. Then you got Jay Jefferson, Tyler Flood, Kyle Kesey, Jonathan Hoff, Nathan Stapleton, and Bullet Bill. This is a 50 lap race from Fontana. And the top three in the points go Nick Flood first, Max Anderson second, minus 10, Luciana Reese third, minus 13. There are seven, or there are eight drivers right now still within a race so this championship is wide open with three races to go hunter spartan leads him to the green adam Akers is actually first across the line though did everyone make it to the green they did remember you have to play lap number one to get scored though and they're already three wide the 39 is going to go from eighth to first by the time they get to the back stretch stuart hosh racing has been terrible all season there's rumors they might be downscaling for season five uh, right now, they're running 1-2, though. Kevin Harvin Incorporated, another team that rumor had it would be downgrading or downscaling big time. Uh, Ruby Clydell going for the lead. I see, uh... Is that Ryan Kesey in the 12, or is that the 2? That is the 12. He didn't even start in the top 10. But he's leading in turn 1. Nick Ventura received a bumper. Qualifying means nothing for Fontana, guys. There's no telling where you'll be within a couple laps out oh, and there's the wreck or was that the big one half the field looks to be gone i seen eli stapleton in the 28 getting wrecked rest in peace robert yates wow who's gonna lead lap number two and lead them back to the green or the caution looks like it might be yeah it's the 42 of rebecca tyler we'll be right back see what just happened possible heartbreak for chaser brad stover who came in today 10th in points 59 back so he's over a race behind he needs a good finish. Oh, he got into the 88 over at four, and then everyone started like bouncing. Eli Stapleton just. Oh, Mo Akers is in it. Oh, I went the wrong way. It doesn't look to be that big of a crash. It looks like it just separated the field a bit. We're gonna rewind that. And then we're gonna go watch the 13 of Jay Jefferson. And hopefully a decent camera view. I don't. The TV2 maybe? But there, they're already going. The four. Got pretty decent damage. The 38 of Muhammad Zayn's around. Jeff Bright got some damage. Ooh, the 48 of Samet Oskin got pretty good little contact. We're about to go on board the 29 of Nick Flood, who was in the very back. He's your points leader by 10 points over Max Anderson, who's up front right now. So the 29 needs a pretty good run today. Or a pretty solid run, I guess. He was running around 38th at the time. Started checking up. Slight contact with Eli Bright, almost ran into pull a bye. Eli and Dalton Riley, they just gained hella positions. And the 29 somehow got through that basically unscathed. So we'll be back for the restart. Pace cars getting ready to pull off. Ruby Claudel did not pit. Uh, everyone else did. So, strategy play here maybe. No one DNF'd off that wreck though. So that's pretty solid, I guess. Coming up to your lap 7 of 50. Ruby Claudel leading the future for Kevin Harvick Incorporated is up in the air. Um, they know for a fact the 21 will not be returning next season, so they might just stick with 33. They might just go back down to amateur full time, uh, but the 21 will not be returning next season. It's not to say Ruby Claudel won't be, just the 21 car. You guys can wonder where that car number is going. But green flag is back out, lap 7 to 50, and a pretty tame restart, I guess. Um, both Kevin Hart Incorporated cars inside uh, the top five on that restart, so. KHI's had a little bit of momentum lately. Keon Eddington, though, last season's champion. He did not even make the chase this season. It's been really, uh, really disappointing season. He's working his way up to the lead right here. Looks like he'll take that without any real uh, trouble. An awful season for Keon Eddington. Could have been better. Really could have been better. But three wide for second. The field is kind of scattered. Looks like Dylan E in the one car is going to make it four wide for second. Tyler Flood and Rebecca Tyler making contact. Alexander Rowe got the short end of the stick, as did Ruby Claudel. Switch TV2 here.
It's a lot of racing to go. You guys don't want to wreck yet. I don't really see that many yellow spoilers, though, up near the front. I see Nick Ventura in the 31, Bullet Bill in the 01, Max in the 84, TJ, Cla or TJ Hanley almost got dumped. That was one heck of a save, a little drift. You got two chasers, though, and side by side for second, Nick Ventura and Bullet Bill. Ruby Claudel slicing and dicing through the pack. What racing, man. Ooh, Larry Arnold and Logan Claudel getting into a Ryan Madden's. Oh, this is going to end up in a wreck. Yep, there it goes right there. Ooh, someone's upside down. Kevin Villano in the 82. Logan Claudel, chaser. He got away with it. Wow. Nick Ventura and Bullet Bill are the lucky ones out of that. Coming to the caution of the lap, 10 of 50. Keon Eddington will ra uh, maintain the lead off that short little stint. So we'll be back to see what just happened. And it was the big one. We're bringing it way back. Watch Logan Caudell uh, in the 22. Chaser for Penske. Everyone just started door slamming. There was really no room right there for that many cars. That's what caused it. Kevin Villano, though, man. Just innocent bystander. He went tumbling. He almost, like, he had literally nothing to do with that crash that 82 did. Let's see. Where is he? Right there, a silver 82 for Red Bull. Just up in the air. Sticks the landing. I think that'd be like a solid 8.5 in the X Games. So, oh, oh, geez. <laughs> what? Well, I, I'm i going to go try to get back. We'll be right back. Everyone is pitting, though. All right, we're back. So, I know the one... Or not the one, the 21 of Ruby Claudel was in that crash pretty good as well. She's had a really good run all day. Ryan Kesey's in it. Max Anderson's in it. Looks like Adam Akers got a little bit of damage. I, the bad thing about this version of Fontana, though, the camera views are so janky. Like, it's really bougie. So, there's Isaiah Ford Chaser. We're going to watch him see what happened. You can see the wreck started having up there. He should have had a clear breakaway to get through. We got a little bit of damage. That's the second time this game he's got tagged, or this game, in this race that he got tagged in the right side. That's on board Hunter Spartan. I think you can see the wreck all happening. Oh, I was like, why is he going to hit him? But he had a car below him. Well, I'll be back for the restart. Pace car is pulling off. Oh, Mo Akers retired. 41st place from Mo. He came into this race 4th in points, 26 back. So leading this race is Bullet Bill. That's a very important bonus point for him. Uh, he's your all-time wins leader in the College Cup Series. But he is last in the chase grid, 95 back. That's pretty much two full races back. He needs to have excellent runs. This race and the next two. And, like, everyone else has to have pretty mediocre days. Like, they have to be... Not really wreck fest, but the, the chase gears, they can't run really well. Um, especially the top dogs for Bullet Bill to have a chance. Nick Ventura, though, doesn't want Bullet Bill to get momentum. So he's going to quickly go try taking the lead from him. Bullet Bill seems to be down on power, without a doubt. Like, I know the leader hasn't had the best luck uh, holding on to their lead. But he really, like, he's held on to it, surprisingly, with help from the double zero. I just don't know. Alvin Summers in the 19, though, chaser. Alvin... Um, is sixth in points. He also won the most recent race at Chicago Land. Nick Mature is your leader. I'm trying to see Alvin Summers 32 points back. So he gained two spots in Chicago. Oh, he didn't win Chicago. One more time. TJ Friend won Chicago. I apologize, Alan Summers. He won a race recently, though. I know for a fact. Four wide for the lead. Isaiah Ford, who's kind of been involved in two crashes today. He's going for the lead on the very bottom. He has Chaser Adam Akers with him. Isaiah, 11th in points, 67 back. So he's just over a race back. Well, he's like a race and a half back. He needs a good run today. Adam Akers, 7th in points, uh, 40 back. So, not quite a full race back. Pretty dang close. We haven't checked in with Nick Flood since the fr oh oh and Isaiah and Adam are in it. Unbelievable! Isaiah Ford stuck on his driver's side door. 
That is an absolute shame. We'll be back, right back see what just happened. Now, obviously, I don't know the current points. Uh, people could wreck out. But if Isaiah Ford DNFs off this crash, this will basically eliminate him from championship contention. Just, he was 67 back coming in. He's probably going to finish late 30s. Um, just absolutely awful. Adam Akers, 40 points back coming in. I'm not going to say he's a full race back because he gained almost 40 points. Or Isaiah gained almost 40. He, Isaiah gained 30 points in one race a couple races back. But he was 95 back. Now he's 67. It's so the most recent race. But I don't know, guys. Like, that was a really hard hit. I noticed the 06 TJ Hanley kind of got out of control. We're going to watch Nick Mature, though, Chaser. You can see cars already in the wall. Just too little real estate for these many cars. Oh, Kyle Akers kind of went bulldozed, everyone. God, look at that hit, man. You don't want to see that. So many chasers nearby. That's a really hard hit for Isaiah and Adam. Hopefully, everyone's all right. We'll be back for the restart. And the pace car is getting ready to pull off. You can see Isaiah getting 40th, Adam getting 39th. And unfortunately, Isaiah did not lead that lap. Whenever he was leading the inside lane, he was second across the line. So he didn't even get a bonus point. Um, and Adam, that it's a terrible situation for both drivers. I want to say Isaiah's championship hopes are over, so that's kind of it's really unfortunate for him. He's had a pretty decent season, his best career season. Both uh, uh, both Adam and Isaiah have been in the College Cup Series since season one. They have one career win with between them, but uh, best season by far for both of them. And hopefully next season will be even better. But we have some racing to do. Keon Anderson's probably been the class of the field today. He's led the most laps without a doubt, and he is your leader. This season, Hendrick Motorsports has two wins, or has one win, excuse me. The 48 of Smith Oskin won at Talladega. And, yeah, uh, no one else has a win for Hendrick. Or Hendrick. So, Keon Enkin running first, Jeff Bright going to be just outside the top five on the cross line. Smith Oskin was involved in a wreck early on. I see him deep in the pack. I don't think he'll have the car... To get back up there. Right now the highest running chaser has consistently been Nick Ventura in that 31. Alvin Summers has been up there as well in that 19 Dodge. But I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what to expect from this race anymore. I see Hunter Spartan with massive front end damage. But he's keeping up in the pack. These quick cautions are really helping out that 77 car for Team Penske. But coming to the line for lap 23 of 50, Alvin Summers is going to try getting this bonus point. Burt Ford's going to go down there and try side drafting, uh, getting help from Amy Ashley. I thought that was a caution. Alvin Summers did lead that lap, though. That's very, very, very important. Burt Ford kind of got out of shape up there. That's going to knock the 31 and the 02 back. Uh oh. We've seen this before. Just look at that pack, man. That is absolutely insanity. The 19 Dodge is leading TJ Hanley, though. He's going to try getting underneath Max Anderson. Second in points, he's going for the lead in that 84 Toyota. We got uh, Dalton Riley sandwiched between the two GoDaddy cars. That's pretty. That's pretty dope. 84 did lead that lap. Two laps shy of halfway. Before that last caution, we were talking about Nick Floyd. See where he was at. Brad Stover off pace. That's unfortunate. I just need, I just need Nick. I just need him. There's Hunter Spartan in 24th. Logan Claudel there. Nick Flood. Oh, he's in this pack. He's at the very back of it. He had a 10-point lead coming in. Uh, that's for like a 9-point lead now without current running spots because Max Anderson did lead that most recent lap. Now we're one lap shy of halfway. Who is leading now? Nick Ventura. Bullet Bill led that last lap, though, so that's a very important bonus point. The two go to Eddie cars, which are not teammates. The 88 is for Junior Motorsports. 25 for Hendrick Motorsports. Oh, man. This is getting real tight. I smell a wreck coming. They're five wide for second. Sorry, I keep blowing on my mic. Uh, it's getting it's getting lit, boys. Oh, the 10 and the 06 bump. And Evan Byrne and TJ Hanley. Jeff Bright going to come in here and try stealing the lap. Looks like it was the 25 again. Keon Eddington, man, the best. This is the best race. I know it's early, halfway now, but this is the best race he's had all season. He's the only ever Call of Duty Cup Series champion in the field. So, you know, all these guys want to beat him. 
I see Nick Flood. This is the furthest up he's been all race. Took him 26 laps, but he is here. Remember, Xavier Irons went from 22nd to the lead in less than seven laps. Oh, and there it is. Oh, in the class of the field, Keon Eddington backed into the fence. I seen Bullet Bill in it. I know who I'm going to go on board for this replay, but we'll be right back to see what just happened. All right, we're just going to start this up immediately by going on board Lucy Ann Reese. Chaser, running 21st, not having the best race. But look at this narrow escape. You can see all happening up there. Everyone could go low. She's going to go high, get through it all, gain a handful of spots. She's going to go from 21st to, okay, I guess it didn't update because I, oh, 17th. There we go. So that's a good four little spots right there. Now, where is the 25? Right? No, that's not the 25. Right there. Can I just rewind a little bit more so we can see any early signs of contact? Looks like this. Oh, the 84 wiggled and got up into the 17. Bullet Bill got in it. God, it's a hard, 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 hard hit. I think the 17 might have went head on to the wall. Yeah, the 84 is getting beat around, and God, what a hard hit. The 17 did not go head on to the wall, though. Dalton Riley, Bullet Bill. Oh, my gosh. Alexander Rowe and some at Oskin. We could watch this number two car, man, of Alexander Rowe. Like, like, bro, do you even lift, bro? Bam. Oh, okay. He tried... Uh, I guess he, he seen the 40 he was about to hit the 01. He tried swerving to miss that and he just wasn't quite clear of the 02. Oh, that's head on as can be. Look at all those parts lying. 41 could pull it by, kind of got into the 17. Went back to three. Okay, went back to three, sir. Pace car getting ready to pull off. A lot of people have DNF now. You got Dalton Riley, Samet Oskin, Chaser Bullet Bill, Alexander Rowe, Ryan Madden. Then you got Colin Francis, Dylan Eek, pulled it by Brayson Mitchell. Burt Ford lost a clutch. Then you got Ryan Kesey. Lucian Reese retired. Oh, man, I'm not sure why. And then you got Eli Stapleton. So 25 cars remain. Um, the 20 of Brad Stover once again came into this race. 10th in points, 59 back. He was caught up in that initial crash. He's just been chugging along, staying on the lead lap somehow. 20 laps to go now. The worst he can possibly finish is 25th. So he's probably going to gain some points on a lot of people. Done about the points later as the... I don't know where the 84 is. The 29, who is your points leader, restarted 9th. <clears throat> I'm sure the 84 restarted. The 77 is damaged, though. So that's going to hold up a lot of people. I'm going to go helicopter you on this fish. No, we're not, because I passed it. Ooh, Hunter Spartan out of shape. Ooh, people are pitting. Okay. That was a close one. Strategy. I think if you put now, you can make it on just one more stop. So. Right now, though, Nick Venture up to the lead. Stuart Hosh Racing, remember, we said early on, they didn't know if or they thought they were going to down, downscale their cars for next season. Uh, Jonathan Hoff had a really good start to the race. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't last. But Evan Byrne picking up the slack, running second right now. Capullo Bio was caught up in that last wreck in the 41. Now he's about to lose second to... The other RCR car. I mean, the RCR cars, they're going to be dominant next season with a new... I don't know they're not going to be dominant, but they're going to be really good with the new uh, ratings feature we're going to be having for the Call of Duty Cup Series. Actually, that's for all three series. Uh, RCR will probably be one of the better teams. Not the best. It's not going to be such a big ratings boost where it's basically pointless to even sign up for anyone other than. And there's not a caution. But the 21, probably out of fuel, would be my, my assumption. Right now, RCR guys, they're running first and third. Both of them are chasers. Isaiah Ford was up inside the top five whenever he got destroyed. So, RCR going to be one of the teams to watch out for next season. Remember, they're doing this with two rookies. Uh, Nick Flood leading the points at that 29 rookie. Nick Ventura, uh, he's not leading the points. He is eighth in points, 43 back. But he won Rockingham in just his second career Call of Duty Cup Series start in that 31 car. Hooters announced they will be on, they will be the primary scheme for the 31 car next season. So that's really interesting for Nick Ventura. TJ Hanley, though, best race of the season for him. He made the chase last season and really didn't do much this season. Same with Jeff Bright. Jeff Bright won two races last season and hasn't done anything this season. Nick Ventura continues to lead side by side for second. Muhammad Zane, who spun out 
in that initial crash early on. He's worked his way back up into the top five. Nick Flood just doesn't seem to have the car today as he's dropping like a rock. Something might be wrong with that 29 car. Keep an eye on it. He's definitely off pace a little bit on exits. Uh, really, he had a 10-point lead coming in. Max Anderson, who's right now getting by him, that one spot's not going to do much. It's still early on enough where everyone knows they have to pit at least one more time. Okay, got a notification from eBay, so that's, that's adorable. Jeff, Nick Ventura leads 15 to go. Remember, everyone has to hit at least one more time. So, uh, Nick Flood letting Max Anderson go for ninth. That, like, wasn't really the end of the world for him then. Jeff Bright now going for the lead. Evan Byrne, will he stick with the 24? Will he go for the lead himself? Kind of interesting. Evan Byrne decided to go to the outside there. Makes you wonder if the 24 is going to be pitting this time by. He's not. Just trying to get himself a nice run on the exit. The 31 got super arrow loose there when the 06 kind of got up on his quarter panel. They didn't touch. That 31 got visual, visually, visibly, goodness, loose. 14 to go. Jeff Bright leads. I think we're in store for a surprise winner today. Right now, 19 cars on the lead lap. Brad Stover's one of them. Alvin Summers, one lap down, along with Jay Jefferson, Rebecca Tyler, Hunter Spartan. Amy Ashley as uh, two laps down, and Ruby Cladell three. Remember, those guys, uh, they pit. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, if I did not edit that out, um, I tried to mute my mic, but it didn't want to mute. So, hopefully I remember to edit that out. Oh, Hunter Spartan, who's off pace, not by much, but enough. Uh, about to fall two laps down here. Not what that chaser wants to see. Remember, the worst he could possibly finish at this point is 25th, unless you get disqualified. Uh, which happened a couple weeks ago at, uh, oh, I don't remember what it was, Charlotte? Something like that. Nick Ventura worked his way back up to second. You had Nathan Stapleton there in the 14. I haven't talked about him at all today. Another Stuart Hoss racing car having a good run. I just kicked my dog, Denny, because he was lying under my desk, and I didn't know. My bad, Denny. Max Anderson working his way up to third. Kyle Akers in the nine has been hanging around the top five for majority of this run. We haven't even mentioned him. He's a three-time winner this season, but he missed the chase. They've got Hunter Spartan. He doesn't appear to hold anybody up. There was, oh, man. People were trying to get to the pits and almost running each other over. Evan Byrne just gained so much getting on the pit road there. See, Amy Ashley is leading this pack. <clears throat> She's two laps down. Alvin Summers probably gonna be the leader whenever they cycle back around. I don't know. I don't know if he'll uh, get his lap back and then take the lead. This is a pretty big track if you're not aware. 34 seconds for a best lap. Last lap by was a 35.503. Wow, why is a whole many people on pit road? There's Nick Flood in 16th. They must pit the lap before the leaders did, would be my assumption. And Alvin Summers getting by him. So I wonder if staying out longer than everyone. I wonder if that was the correct choice. I wonder if new tires were worth it. We'll see where Alvin Summers cycles back around. There is 10 laps to go, though. The 14 is apparently the leader. Don't know where he is. Don't even know if he's on track. See, where is Alvin Summers at? Yeah, nowhere to be seen. I don't think pitting early was the right call. We'll see, though. He's very liable to come out inside the top five. He's going to beat Nick Ventura off. That is huge. Alvin Summers coming into this race. Sixth in points, 32 back. And I'm not exactly sure where he'll be running. I don't know who the leader is. The 14 is later. There he is right there. So he just lost the lead to Jeff Bright right now. So we're going to keep an eye on where the, night for, the, where the 14 is going to come out. Because the 10 is now in second. And the 14 is probably moved to third by the time they get... Nathan Stapleton, guys. What a move. He might lose third right here and fall to fourth. That should be the furthest back he falls. And I know he was up in that front pack, but I think this is the furthest up he's really been, legitimately. But can Evan Byrne gain? There's a second between 
him and Jeff Bright, Amy Ashley, multiple laps down in 24th. You got Kyle Akers third, Nathan Stapleton fourth, TJ Hanley fifth, Max Anderson sixth, Alvin Summer seventh, Mamadou in eighth, Nick Ventura ninth, and Nick Flood rounding out your top ten. He is your points leader. Right now, Max Anderson only be getting about five points on him with that bonus point. So we're gonna keep an eye on that split time. He's got Ruby Claudel though to get draft off of. That could also hinder him if uh, he makes the wrong move and Ruby's not expecting it. He'll probably get by her with relative ease. As long as she doesn't get down there and crowd him, take the air off his spoiler, he should be good, and he is. He actually, he also gained a couple tenths on Evan that last lap. It's a pretty good little pack right here for third. They need to not battle. If they stay single file, they could catch. Rebecca Tyler back on pit road. Alvin Summers on pit road too. Remember, I thought that from that restart, they would have to pit just one more time after that. I was right. The leaders, they should be good, though. Uh, seven laps is a long time. I think they pit on 41, 42. So they're already a couple laps in the cycle. They should be good, but you never really know. Jeff Wright, though, leads TJ Hanley. Where's the 10? Okay, he's up there. Oh, he's going to have to go high here because Ruby Caldell's probably going to pit. Yep. That's going to cost Evan Byrne a bit of time. Brad Stover in danger of falling a lap down here. I think the 10 might have actually gained a little bit, though. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, three hundredths of a second. That's not even noticeable to the naked eye. Six laps to go here at Fontana, though. Can Jeff Bright get his first win since race eight of season four? It was at Talladega. He won two of the first eight races and then hasn't won since. That is 39 races ago was his last win. Absolutely insane. Evan Byrne, he's never won a College of Cup Series race. TJ Hanley now up to second. TJ's last win was race 18. It was at Atlanta, and it was literally, he had to win that race to advance to the next round of the chase uh, back when we did the playoff system. So, 18. God. That's 29 races since his last win. So, pretty big winless drought for these guys. And looks like they're gaining now. They got an actual pack here. They got a little draft. Rebecca Tyler kind of held up Jeff Bright just a tad bit. How much will TJ be back? Oh, he gained three tenths there, easy. Rebecca Tyler not going to hold up the 06 too much. The 84 might get the run here. They are going faster, even though they're battling, than the leaders because of the draft. So, three and a half laps to go. The 84 realized that if he got below the 06, they're getting into the turn. It would just slow them both up. Max Anderson, he's point racing, but he's also racing smart. He knows he has a better chance at winning if he lets the 06 catch. Three laps at Fontana is a long time, and they are there. They're going to go from .91 back to, yeah, three tenths. That's six tenths. 61 hundredths of a second that lap. Jeff Wright's getting draft off Jay Jefferson. I don't think that's going to do anything uh, because they have draft off Jay, or they have draft off Jeff. There's Brad Stover, the chaser, running 19th. Not a bad run, considering. Oh, and Jeff's going to get held up by Brad. TJ Hanley to the lead. Here comes Max Anderson. Not what Nick Flood wants to see. I don't even know where Nick Flood is. He didn't cross the line yet. He was over 10 seconds back last time by. Nathan Stapleton going to the lead. I'm keeping an eye on that scoreboard. Yeah. Oh, man. He's not even in the top 10. Nick Flood, 11th place, 10.09 back. Right now, that 84 would be tied for the points lead. Oh, Kevin Villano. This is going to hold them up big time. Remember, he flipped early on. Don't know how he's still in this race. Four wide for second. Max Anderson needs to back out of this. White flag is in the air. This race will end under green. Oh, well, it's going to be a good finish. I'm excited for this, boys. <clears throat> Kyle Akers going for the lead. If he wins this race, that'll tie him for the most wins all time in the Call of Duty Cup Series. He had one coming into this season. This would be his fourth win of the season if he can hold on. 
Ooh, Nathan Stapleton went down and blocked. That was an amazing move. I think that's going to give Nathan his first crew win here. Stuart Haas Racing needs this. They haven't won since the COD 600 when Jonathan Hoff won at Charlotte. Coming to the checkered flag, Nathan Stapleton is a Quality Cup Series winner. The 14 team wins it at Fontana. That's also the 14 car for Stuart Haas Racing's first ever win. Jay Jefferson not once found victory lane in that car last season. So, Honestly, that was a really fun race. Evan Burton second, so that's Stuart Haas Racing's first ever 1-2 finish as well. They're trying, to, they're trying to stay alive for next season. And then the 39 car got ninth. That's probably Stuart Haas Racing's best ever race in the Call of Duty Cup Series. So, let's go look at your official results. We're going to do your official top 16 since it's time we run the lap. Winning it, Nathan Stapleton. First career win. Second place, Evan Byrne. And they got Kyle Akers third. Chaser, Max Anderson fourth. He was your highest finishing chaser. TJ Hanley runs out your top five. They got Jeff Bright. Chaser, Nick Ventura. They got Muhammad Zayn. Jonathan Hoff and Eli Bright rounds out your top ten. Joseph Rakowski, really quiet race and a pretty strong 11th place run. Logan Claudel was involved in that first crash. He got 12th. Larry Arnold, 13th. Keon Eddington, 14th. Uh, Tyler Flood, 16th, and TJ Friend rounds out your late lap cars. Just barely, though. He's about five seconds away from getting lapped. Notables outside the top, uh, well, 16. Brad Stover, 18th. Nick Flood, I don't think he had enough fuel to make it. He's going to finish 19th one lap down and will no doubt lose the points lead. Yeah, Alvin Summers, 20th. Hunter Spartan, 23rd. Lucy Henry's 27th <clears throat> with a DNF. Oh, man. Bullet Bill, 36th. Adam Akers, 39th. Isaiah Ford, 40th. And Mo Akers, 41st. So, that was the Call of Duty Cup Series Season 5, race number 23 from Fontana. After today, there are two races left in the chase. So, I'm really excited to get this going. Uh, the, car, the, the Traxxas Truck Series has one race left, so they have a bye race. Or I guess a bye week. This upcoming week, Amateur Series will run their second last race. And it's basically a triple header from Homestead. Uh, next week, hopefully, for the season finale of all of them. And then I have a very special video I can't wait to start making. I just got to figure out how. So, yeah, if anyone knows how to download videos from YouTube, that would be amazing if you could let me know down in the comments. Uh, or tweet me at Blover Bros. You'll see that in the outro. But, congratulations to Nathan Stapleton. Really strong first win. Congrats to Stuart Hosh Racing. So, that's going to be a big boost for you guys next season. And with that, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching once again. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. He said, boy, can you make fans stand to scream your name? Have you hit him in the ass? Never let off the gas till you rode into Big Lane. He said, boy, do you know how it feels when you're running three wide? Cause if you're Daytona bound, let me wonder you.